Hello YouTube and welcome to channel Anna Bella. Now, I'm going to be doing um, a review of the newest Pokemon handbook. But first, let's just go back in time. Okay, way back in the day, I'm talking 20 odd years ago now, you had the Pokemon Classic Collector's Handbook. My original one of these is in my attic. I've been promising and promising and promising you guys that I will do a review on it at some point. But never mind, this was when there was only 150 Pokemon. And in fact, this comes with a very, very handy pull-out chart of all 150. If the pull-out chart would cooperate, that would be great. So here they all are. And they go from our beloved Bulbasaur all the way down to the beloved Mew. Um, yeah, check out, because Mew 2 Strikes Again is getting a remake, and it looks to be a really, really good CGI remake. I've seen the trailer for that, um, so that looks to be good. I've also seen the trailer for um, the Pikachu Detective movie, and that, um, where, he, but where Pikachu is voiced by Ryan Reynolds, and that looks to be absolutely awesome. So, it's basically very, very simple, and a very, very thin book. Ta-da! Run at one at random. So you've got Spiro and Firo, Ratata, Radike, all together. The beautiful Pikachu. So you've got its type, how to say it, its measurements, weight, possible moves it can learn. But what is really annoying is it still doesn't tell you the level at which they evolve. Next came the ultimate legendary Pokemon when they had enough of the of them that is from like Kanto and Johto and all of them they started to um, put the legendary and mythical Pokemon from different regions all in a handy fact file place I got this from the 110% gaming presents um, which saved me some dough it goes all the way up to Solgaro, Solgaleo and Lunala but it does not have the protectors or the ultra beasts in at all so, the only way that you could possibly get that is this one, which is Legendary and Mythical Pokemon. I presume. I haven't got that one yet. But anyway, we're not here for that. We're here for this. Okay, so, they then brought out this, the Deluxe Essential Handbook, which has got stats and facts for over 107. 107? Yeah, 107 Pokemon. As you can see, it is much, much thicker than the original handbook it's the original handbook very thin with only 150 in or 151 depending if you want to count Mew or Mewtwo or whatever um this book contains all the known Pokemon from Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, Shino, Unova and Kalos and to go with it it had this lovely companion the Aloha region handbook um which has got 260 Pokemon in. Because the Aloha region is basically a, sort of a slightly different version of the Kanto Pokemon. So you'd have Cloyster and Electrobuzz and Electric Kid, Gyarados. Because, I mean, you can't have a Pokemon game without Gyarados. But you'd have Magnemite, Magneton, and then the new one would be Megazone. You know, some from the past mixed with the future, fused well, not Pokemon Fusion. Scratch that because that's a whole different thing altogether. And there would be slight differences. Oh, come on. Where is the Volpix? Under V. Because these are alphabet girl. We love the alphabet. It helps order things like words. Where's the V? Uh, there we go. Vulpix, Alola form. Now, regular Vulpix is a fire Pokemon. Um, in Aloha, it is an ice Pokemon. Woohoo! And I can prove it, because I have the books. <laughs> See, now this will just throw you off, because this is probably not in alphabetical order. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, it's not. Anyway, I'm going to look it up on the poster of reference. We're looking for Vulpix, please. Valpix, 57, there we go. Three, oh, Golduck, Growlithe. <laughs> okay, in the poster it's 50, 37. Just help if we can actually read the numbers. Woohoo! 37. 
37 coming up. There we go, so fire, and it was red, not white. So that's that. Why on earth am I spending all this time showing you this? Well, because it's fun. That's why. And we should appreciate the fact that Pokemon is like 20 years old anyway. Okay, so you've got those, you've got those, you've got those. By the way, these two still annoyingly do not have um, the level at which they evolve. And it's the same for this one. Doesn't tell you the level at which they evolve, but does have a lovely picture of them. And also they have their lovely, um, so you've got Licky, so you've got Lickety Lick, lick Licker Tongue and Lickety Lick. Yeah, it's, and Lickerby. Yay! Confusing! So it just goes from Licker Tongue to Lickety Lick. Fabulous, everybody, fabulous. And you've got Abra, Kadabra, Alakazam, Mega, Alakazam. So this also includes Mega Evolutions, obviously. This one does not because they didn't exist. And also there was a restriction on how many types. See, look. Currently there are no known dark types in the um, in the Kanto region. As are then fairy type has made it through though with um, Clefable. But Clefable has always been classed as the fairy Pokemon. But it was a normal type originally. Anyway, I've bored you enough with the uh, random Pokemon history. Um... There you go. I've also got this, the Aloha Rejo Beginner Handbook, which is essentially just some highlights from that one. Okay, on to the main event, which is the reason why we are here. Here is the Pokemon Super Deluxe Essential Handbook. The need to know stats and facts on over 180 characters from every single region. So let's crack it open and review the thing. So here we go. So welcome to the world of Pokemon. Kanto, Johto, Honan. Sinnoh, Unova, Kalos, and now Aloha. They're all included. So, we get the name, the category, the type, the description, how to say it, height and weight, possible moves, and evolution. Ooh, but does it give us the level? No. Ah, so close. So here we have all of the types. That's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. There's 18 types. Fire, grass, water, normal, electric, bird, ghost, flying, Fighting, Psychic, Steel, Rock, Ground, Ice, Poison, Dark, Dragon, Fairy. Woohoo! And here we have the beloved Bulbasaur with the beloved Charmander and the beloved Squirtle. Woohoo! Because they are. So, Battle Basics, choosing the best Pokemon for the job. Mega Evolution, Aloha Form, Ultra Beast, Legendary and Mythical Pokemon are all included. Woohoo! So this is the only book you'll ever need. So, you can just... Burn those if you want to, but if you're sentimental like me, you will keep this one forevermore and possibly forage through your attic to find your original one, which is still up there somewhere. Anyway, moving swiftly on. So let's pick a page, a random page. So, let us see. Let's just go with Pidgeotto. So we've got Pidgeot and Mega Pidgeot. So it starts off with a Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot, Mega Pidgeot. And here we have the beloved Pikachu. So you've got Pichu, Pikachu, Raichu, Aloha Raichu. Obviously the Aloha Raichu knows Psychic and can surf. Because it's a Psychic Electric Pokemon. And these are beautiful ones. Don't evolve. But they're from Kanto region. Delightful, aren't they? So you get all sorts of variants. So there's the pincer and the mega pincer, the polytoad, uh, polywag, polywag, polydoad. So they're all here. Here's the Raichu, legendary Pokemon. Let's see if we can find a mythical one. Got to be in here somewhere. Now oh, there's some more legendary ones. <laughs> squirtle, squirrel, squirrel, water turtle, blastice, mega blastice, squirrel, squirrel. Yeah, 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 we know. Yes. As you can see, my childhood was spent watching first season of Pokemon. So here we have the Vulpix in fire, Kanto, and then the Aloha Vulpix, which is ice. It's still um, Fox Pokemon, though. So there you have it, basically. That's all of them. 
in here from every single region. It is in alphabetical order, so let's just look for beautiful Mew. Ah, Miss Spirit, a legendary Pokemon. Let's see if we can find Mew. Mew! So here is the beloved Mew. It's a mythical Pokemon. I remember when it was a legendary, and Mew too is a legendary Pokemon. Just to confuse us even more, yes, because they split um, the legendary Pokemon um, up. So you've got mythical and legendary. Mythical are more rare than legendary Pokemon. Just to confuse us all! So this is a new species Pokemon. This Pokemon is very important because it contains the DNA for every single Pokemon, very much like Ditto does. Um, Mewtwo is based off um, Mew. It's a clone and it was um, enhanced. I'm very much looking forward to the new Mewtwo Strikes Back um, CGI version of the first Pokemon First movie. But to be absolutely honest, if you've not seen the Pokemon First movie, where have you been? You need to check it out because it is actually the best Pokemon movie they ever made. So I hope you have enjoyed looking at this book. I've enjoyed showing it to you. It's got some great um, Pokemon in. I particularly like the fact that you've got the Persian, the Kanto one, and then the Aloha one underneath. Uh, so this is the Classy Cat Pokemon. Classy Cat Pokemon. Very nice. So that's quite good. It's in alphabetical order. What's annoying is it doesn't tell you the level at which they evolve. So there you've got the Grimer from Kanto and the Aloha Grimer and its colour variants. We do have, I did see, ah, here we are. Here's Guzzle Lord. It's an Ultra Beast and it's from Aloha. So that's pretty cool. So if you've enjoyed this review, please like, comment and subscribe. Um, this book is one of the best Pokemon books there is. I'd recommend just getting this one if you wanted to. And also at the back, it has got um, Zygon at the back. So you've got Zygon Core, 10% Zygon, Zygarde, and then you've got 50% Zygarde and Zygarde Complete. So there you are. Hope you've enjoyed this. Bye-bye, everyone. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to leave you with a random Pokemon page. Oh, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? I choose. Whoa-ho. Krabby.